Hi everyone, Angela here. To make this eyeglass case, you'll need this pattern. You can find the link for this down in the description. With the pattern right side up, cut one out of your main fabric, and then with the pattern wrong side up, cut one out of your lining fabric. On the main fabric piece, mark and or cut out the top and bottom notches. For cutting out notches, I like to use my Kai embroidery scissors. You'll also need fusible batting with the glue dots on one side. With the pattern right side up, cut one out with the glue dots facing you. Then place the wrong side of the main fabric onto the batting, matching all the edges, and then press together without using any steam. You'll also need 10.5 inches of 1 inch wide elastic. Links for all the tools I use can be found in the description below. Find the top and bottom notches on the main piece and place the ends of the elastic between them. Then stay stitch close to the edges to keep in place. Fold your elastic so that it's flat and out of the way. Then place your lining on top of the main piece with right sides together and then pin or clip all around. Now turn it around to the side with the extra seam allowance for the opening. With a quarter of an inch seam allowance from this edge, we're going to start our stitching about a quarter of an inch above this little edge. Start by back tacking and stitch all around, making sure your curves are nice and smooth and you pivot at the corner. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on all of your notifications and leave a comment below. When you get back around to the opening, stop about a quarter of an inch below the small edge and back tack. The reason why there's extra seam allowance along this opening is that when it's turned over, we can easily catch it and close it with our top stitching. Next, we need to trim all of our corners. Trim away about half of it, making sure that you're not too close to the stitching. Next, turn everything right side out and push out all the corners and smooth out the edges with your fingers. If you need to, use a knitting needle or point turner to do this. Tuck in the seam allowance at the opening and make sure that edge is nice and straight and give it a press. When you're pressing around the edges, try to pull down the lining and roll the seam so that the lining isn't going to show on the right side. So again, this is the side with the opening. Flip it over so that the main fabric is facing you. We're not closing the opening yet, but right at the bottom edge of it, we're going to start a quarter inch top stitch along this side, across the top, and then we're going to finish it at the bottom of this angled side. Flip your elastic out of your way when you're sewing and start and stop your top stitching by back tacking. Trim your threads well and with the lining side up and the opening on the right, fold it in half matching all the edges and the corner. Then pin or clip in place. Also flip the elastic so that it's on top. At the very top of the angled edge, continue with the quarter inch top stitch through all the layers, back tacking well at the start and finish. Make sure you caught that top edge with your back tacking and that you're keeping the edges even while you're stitching. Go around the corner slowly and make sure to pull that elastic well out of your way when you're sewing along the bottom edge. Trim your threads well again and you can see the seams of the opening have been caught and there was no need to do any hand stitching. If you're gifting a journal or a book, Adding this handy eyeglass case that also doubles as a bookmark just makes it extra special. Or just make it for yourself so you don't have to hunt around for your reading glasses. Make sure to check out some of my other tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.